was the inspiration for the story? The inspiration for the story actually was that this story hadn't been told. I'm often asked, like, is this an original story? And I'm like, yes, but because the, this book hasn't been written. First and foremost, Celine, thank you so much for being part of Arclight Stories and being here on a very busy night at Arclight Hollywood. Yeah. So take me back to the very first time you thought, I'm going to write a portrait of a lady on fire. I wanted to dedicate a film to a love story, write this epic love story that would actually be the present of the love story, but also the memory of a love story, the politics of a love story, and talk about this relationship between the model and the artist rather than the muse and the artist. What did it mean to you to win the Screenwriting Award at Cannes? For the first time in the competition, winning a prize among this, this, body, of, this body of work of directors felt to, totally amazing and fulfilling. You wanted to make a story about love. Why was that appealing to you? I mean, when you are asked what's the greatest film in cinema and the film that goes throughout the age, you're like, oh, with the wind, Titanic, love story. I mean, love stories. Just, yeah, I wanted to do this thing that cinema does really well, I think, to talk about love. Quand vous êtes embarrassé, vous mordez vos lèvres. Vraiment. Talk to me a little bit about how each of you prepared for the roles. For the character of Mayan, I watch and observe a lot Ellen Delmer, who is doing the paintings that you see in the movie. I was trying really to get the gesture of the painter, the gaze of the painter. Despite that, we didn't rehearse at all. Like, we wanted really to build our collaboration and our story from the present while we were shooting. Really? So no rehearsals? No. All the details were kind of written in the movie, like the dialogues, but also the silence parts, like the gazes, the breathing, the movements. It's like a line. You have a thousand ways to say a line, but it's the same with a, a look or a, a movement. And each time I, it was like, I know that she's going to look at me, but I don't know how, and this time it was different. The frame was here, but you could fill it, fill it with uh, propositions. Most of the work, like technical work, would be like learning the lines. But uh, regarding my preparation for the movie, so I would like separate the script in three phases and try to make the portrait of being a, like considered as an object to being a subject. So this was the journey I would try to portray while acting in the character of Eloise. Let's talk about casting a little bit. So you have a long history with Adele, and you wrote Eloise with her in mind. And then for Marianne, did you audition many actors? Yeah, actually, I wanted this couple to be a true couple of cinema, iconic. So not wanting to take two actresses that would be clearly identified by the audience, especially also because it's a lesbian couple. I don't want a performance. I want people to believe totally. I like the fact that we would pair up, that, that, that this would feel new. This would feel totally new. Did you feel that you could collaborate closely with Celine? Yeah, I mean, since the beginning that I met her on the first audition, she created straight away an environment of respect, kindness, that we were equal, this environment where we don't have to fit in the vision of a director. So I think it's more full of surprises. <sighs> Ça fait des années que je rêve de faire ça. Mourir. Courir. So Noemi came up quite early in the process of casting, made a strong impression on me. I was giving her the line, so I was the model and she was the artist. On the second round of casting, callbacks, Adele was there and I saw the two of them in the frame and I was like, this is it, this feels new. They're beautiful together, they're intense together, but mostly they have this strong sense of equality and that was what I was looking for. I wanted to embody a love story with strong equality. Why did you choose painting and the 18th century? It was a time where there were hundreds of women painters. There was a very strong artistic female scenery, also strong um, art critics. And I was totally unaware of that because, you know, they were erased from art history. So I decided to invent one a painter within this period where there were so many to think about and to talk about them all. I think the film is doing something important for female artists of the past and female artists of the present. What was it like on set working with so many women? First, it created kind of a safe space. We are just feeling more free. When you experience that freedom, you never want to go back from that. Have you worked on a set that's mostly men, male directors, 
Most of the time, it's that. You felt a difference between this and that? Yes, it's more interesting when there are more women. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about it being female driven, it's about me liking to work also in a specific atmosphere that is very collaborative, very fun, and not to be too much about this hierarchy. There's, I mean, there's a strong hierarchy on cinema set. I'm not saying that there's not a strong hierarchy, but what do you do with your power? That's the question. <laughs> Especially for any young women who are aspiring to be filmmakers, what would you say to them? Go for it. Feel legitimate and your imaginary is legitimate and stick to it. Mm -hmm.